It's a joy to meet you, Anna Kiko Myers. It's great to be here in Boston. You you should be here more. It's it's. <laughs> I think we play so many of your recordings. We all feel like we know you. Oh, thank you. Anton Nell, you've been here more often, I think, and we're glad to see you back. Always good to visit. Thank you. And we have to talk about the violin. Um, I was reading that you mentioned it as sort of a muse to all violinists and violin makers. Is it so perfect that nothing has happened to it over time? Yes, this Guarneri del Gesù um, belonged to one of the most famous um, 19th century violinists named Henri Vuitton. And um, Henri Vuitton played on this violin for several years, but um, what's really moving was that when he passed away, he was really the rock star of his day, and the entire country was basically out um, to pay their respects. And um, Eugene Izai, another incredible violinist, was carrying this violin on a pillow um, in back of his casket. Um, And he was so in love with this violin. And it really um, is quite extraordinary because there are no cracks in it. There's just nothing. It's completely like a virgin violin that left Guarneri's workbench in like pristine just, just condition. Just off the bench, huh? Yeah. 1741, that 1741. must have been a, a, like a golden moment for violins, right? Well, for Guarneri del Gesù, it was right towards the end of his life, and um, he made some of the greatest violins in the 1740s, 41, 42, 3. It's just spectacular. What a miracle. And, mm-hmm. and, and so inexplicable. I love that you said, uh, on, there's a little film that you did about this, that, that the, the G string is like a cello. Yeah. And that when you play the end of the Barber Concerto, it's like a rocket ship. You're just <laughs> <laughs> taking off. It's a, it's a great image. So have you fallen in love with it? Absolutely. It's, it's my baby now. When <laughs> it's incredible that, you know, it's passed through hands such as, Vuitton and Isai has played it, Menuhin has played it, um, and so many great violinists have played this violin, and now I can play this music on it. It's, it's really, it's incredible feeling. You didn't know that it was coming into your life? No. I mean, you never know when a violin's going to appear magically in your life. You never know. So this was an anonymous gift? Mm-hmm. For, your, for the rest of your life. <laughs> I love the way you said also, you sort of understatedly said, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a huge responsibility because I never want to do anything to jeopardize the condition of this violin and to keep it intact for the next generation. Um, yeah, I... That's I'm big. not going to go out clubbing with this violin, that's for sure. And I'm staying <laughs> at a healthy distance, personally. <laughs> Thank you. 